Hey there, this is Akshit Madan and welcome back to a new video and in this video we are going to learn about flutterflow.io So it's uh, basically a website and you can utilize it for building your applications that is Flutter applications effortlessly as they say and we are going to see uh, what are its features uh, and how you can log in, uh, log in on this platform, how you can create an account how you can utilize this basically for UI. If if you want to purchase their premium versions, then you can also create the backend part also because you, you will be able to download the code, right? But if I talk about the UI, it's completely free. You can create any UI and you can see the code. You can copy paste the code in your Flutter application that you're building locally, right? So we are going to use it uh, now and I have, I have found this a day before only and I literally, I've really found it very much useful for my flutter journey because sometimes whenever we make some mistake in ui or we are not able to create some ui we actually want something somewhere we, where we can just drag drop the uh, elements and we can also make some changes in it we want to uh, let's say you are making a flutter application are you and you want that app bar is not looking good or your primary color is not looking good so using this flutter flow you can create that app using just drag drop drag and drop and you will be getting a color picker where you can choose your own primary color and you will be able to directly see the change right and you will be able to copy paste that code free of cost right so first of all let me log in so you can create an account if you are new on this platform so let me log in till then you can see that what are its features so till now we get the support of all these four technologies that is flutter firebase Algolia and code magic. So I tried uh, to I tried to make an app using Firebase. It just took me believe me It just took me around one to two minutes to just connect the app with the Firebase and I was able to create a cloud Firestore collection So that's a very beautiful thing of this flutter flow that it uh, helps you to create fastly and efficiently Right. So as you can see you can build apps visually so you can just use drag drop method and you can create any kind of UI Yes, any kind of UI but now uh, some of the elements are not available so you can demand those elements and maybe their team will introduce those elements soon right so till then we have to uh, work with the elements uh, which are provided for now right so you can connect your screens you can also see the preview of your application you can click on a button you will be navigated to another screen all those facilities we are going to see in this video so without wasting more time i think we should now uh, go on my flutter application that is blog application that i created a day before because uh, i when i found this flutter flow so basically i got to know about flutter flow from a recent google uh, io workshop that had happened recently and as you can see on the screen this is just the beginning so i hope that they will introduce more such features more amazing content on their website it will really help the freelancers and the app developers to work very efficiently and you can also learn the flutter flow but i don't think that you need to watch tutorials for this flutter flow you can just watch uh, two three tutorials and you will be able to make your make apps by your own because it's just drag and drop i'll be creating some tutorials uh, like complete ui tutorials and i think that uh, that will be more than enough right so let's log in so i will continue with google and i'm going to log in with my google account So I have signed in and I can see that one application I created that is blog flow that is to just a UI part I created and I also connected it with the Firebase but uh, I could not download the complete code because I am on free version I have not uh, taken the premium version so let's see what I created and how I created it so now I can see my application that I built and from here that is uh, over here you can see the all the screens that I created that is home page this is the add blog that means here the user can enter the title and here he will, he will be writing his blog and this is the button so he will be able to click this button and his blog will be posted and this blog will be shown in the home page now if i see the another screen that is authentication screen which is for sign up purpose so everything i have created using blog flow or uh, sorry the flutter flow and just using the drag and drop method so i can see the login method also where enter only you have to enter only email and password not any username or any other credentials right so you can just click on sign in so if i click on this preview let's see the preview part so i also connected it uh, connected it with the firebase right so i also tried to connect with the firebase right so here is my authentication screen so let's say i i say that i already have an account so as you can see whenever i'm clicking on this i already have an account i am uh, directed to the login page right so using this preview method you can see how your ui is working 
right so if i will write any email and let me write any password and i will sign in so i'll be directed to this home page so in the navigation bar you can see that this is a plus icon which is for adding a blog so when i will add a title i will add a blog so i'll be clicking on this post uh, blog button and my blog will be posted right so here you can see a button that is a uh, switch button so display device or not so when i will off it so i'll i'll be seeing that there is no uh, emulator i can see i can just see the screen so you can also uh, switch to three types of mobiles so firstly i was using iphone now let's use google uh, galaxy fire s20 plus and let's display the device and you can see that i can see the emulator right so that's a beautiful thing right you don't have to use an emulator actual emulator for seeing your ui you can just use flutterflow now let's get back to flutterflow and let's see some more features so i'll click on this display device and i'll be able to see the frame of the mobile right so over here uh, if we come to this left panel i'll be i am seeing the ui builder so from the ui builder you can just pick any kind of uh, ui element that is an app bar so this is an app bar right so you can just click on this app bar which you added and you can change the color so let's say i want to keep it red so i will be just directing to red and i will uh, click on this use selected color and my app bar will be changed i don't need to uh, write the theme data then i have to define the primary color accent color i can just get it right so let's say i want to change it to let's say i want to change the primary color only so just click on this and from here you can just change the primary color this is the secondary color and this is the tertiary color right so you can just switch it uh, use this mouse to switch to any color and you will be able to see the change so this is the uh, beauty of this flutter flow that you can just drag drop and you can just uh, with the help of the mouse you can just create your own application right so i think that this is a very beautiful thing for freelancers uh, and app developers too the app developers may be thinking that their market is gone uh, maybe everyone will be able to just drag drop and they will be able to create an app but it's not like that even app developers are going to get a lot of help from this flutter flow because all the ui code you will be get let's see so let's say this is my ui uh, let me switch it back to the, that black color because i'm not liking this blue so let's click on this app bar click on this and just let me use this recent color okay now here you can see that uh, on the top right corner you can see a code button so just click on it and you can see you can just copy this complete code and you can paste it in your application in your flutter application that you are building in your local machine right so you can just copy this so as you can see let me switch let me zoom in you can see the app bar is there then background color then login button uh, then uh, padding is there container is there inside the container you will be having the uh, text fields are there right so everything you get it text form field is there and controller everything is added right so you can just uh, switch the names also variable names also you can see and you can switch it right but if i click on this download code then here comes their way of earning the money right it's premium feature we have to purchase for downloading the code but we don't need to download if you are just focusing on the ui part because you can just copy it right you can just copy the code and you can use it in your application but for the back end if you have connected with the firebase then for that you don't see the back end code you have to download the code and for that you have to pay the fees so let's see what their fees is so let's uh, try to upgrade it and let me see what their plans are so here i can see their plans like in free plan i can see that test the waters with the flutter flow then you get the firebase integration that i integrated it and you get the full ui builder access right you will get you will be getting all the ui elements you can drag and drop any kind of ui element that is available uh, in their platform and you can just use it right but if we come to standard plan in which you can share the code you can download the code and you can do a lot of stuff more for that you get 30 dollars per month fees so in this standard plan you get some sample apps also you can use their code you can you will be able to share your projects you will be able to download the code and you will be able to get a support chat you can support with you can chat with the team and you can get a lot of help if we come to the pro plan that has a fees of 70 dollars per month and in this you get some templates like the instagram template linkedin template then many kind of uh, templates they are having and you can use those templates right you get the api calls you can integrate the github right so that's a lot of stuff but currently i am very much satisfied with the free plan because 
I am still a learner and I don't want to use Flutterflow for the backend. I, I want to learn backend by my own. That's why I'm just, I will be just using the UI part of this Flutterflow because um, UI takes a lot of time. So I'll be working on the UI using Flutterflow from now and I will be working on the backend by my own. Right. So I'll be I'm a very bit satisfied with the free plan only. So if we get back to our uh, screen and let me get back to the app. So if we get back to the project and let's go to the second button that is select page. So if we uh, click on the second button, we get the pages. So I have created four pages. First one is for the login. So whenever my app will be opening, I will be directed to the login page. Then I'll be having the authentication page, authentication page. And the third page will be the home page, which will be having all the blogs. And the fourth page is the add blogs where the user will be able to add the blog. So from the second button, you can see all the pages, you can see all the components, right? So let's move on to the third button that is for widget tree. So in this screen, I can see that ad blog, that is the name of my screen. In this, I have an app bar. I have a text field that is enter title. Then I have a container, right? So in this container, I'm having column. And in this, I'm having some children, which are the uh, text then text fields, then button. Perfect, right? So if I click uh, on this fourth button, that is actions, and when I click on this button, I can see that in this on tab, I have an action, right? So if I see, if I drop down it and I can see that what is this action? It is a backend call. So in this, I get a lot of buttons. I get a lot of functions. So if I click on this navigate, then I can use this navigate for navigate, uh, navigating it uh, to a different screen. But as you know that this post, post blog will not be a navigation button. It will be a backend call because I will be adding this data to my Firebase collection. That's why it is a backend call. You can use the, if let's say we are using the login signup screen. And for that, this login button, it will be a login button. And this login button will be an action of authentication, right? So if I click on this authentication, I get login or I get create account, I get logout, I get reset password, right? So that's the beauty. You can just use this, uh, you can just use a mouse to just create the functions by your own. But you have to use the premium version for downloading that code. Perfect. Still, I get a lot of help from this flutter flow. So let's let's make it again this back and call. And in this, I want to uh, I will be creating a record right in the Firebase. I'll be creating a record and the collection will be my blogs collection. Right. Perfect. And I will update it later. No problem. Now let's get back to the fourth button that is app settings. So in this app settings, you have a project name. You have a package name. You can change it. You can upload the uh, app launcher icon. And you can see that how easy is it to just add a launcher icon, right? Perfect. You can uh, add a splash screen. If you are making your apps locally, then you have to define a different Dart file for your splash screen. Then you have to define for how much time it should be there, everything. But here you just have to upload an image and your splash screen is ready. Perfect. Then you can add a navigation bar that is bottom navigation. You can show the labels. You can change the color. You can do everything, right? You can change the primary color of the project. Perfect. You can also change the font. So let's get back to the fifth option, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, sixth option that is for Firebase configuration, right? So you have to go to the Firebase, you have to add the app, you get the uh, application ID, right? From the settings, copy it, add the Firebase app. And in this Firebase, you have to just uh, config, you have to add the configuration files that is Google services.json. And for the iOS, you have to add Google services uh, info.plist. Uh, now, if we go to the uh, seventh button, that is for authentication, you can just define your login page. That will be the first page if you are not authenticated, right? So you can add, I can see that four options are there because I have created four screens. So I have to define which is my authentication screen. So I, I'm saying that auth is my authentication screen. And if I'm authenticated to where I want to be directed, I want to be directed to the home page. Done. It's done, right? If you're authenticated, you will be seeing the home page if you're not if you're not authenticated you will be seeing the authentication screen that's it and you can integrate google uh, sign in you can integrate apple sign in facebook sign in in your applications free of cost if i see the next button that is firestore i can define that which is my collection so in the firebase i have to define this is my collection this is my document right so you have to write the firestore functions in your application but here you have to just add a collection name name uh, write the collection name and you can done you are done you have to define the fields and you are done right so these two options are for the premium version we can't access it right so we have to upgrade it 
So we are almost at the end of this flutter flow introduction and review. So before we end, let's create a new page and I'm going to tell you how we can use this UI builder elements for adding the for building the complete UI and we can also copy paste the code, right? So over here, let's create a new page in this uh, right part. You can see create a new page. So you can see that all the templates are locked. We can't use this template. So as you can see that uh, we are we can get all all types of uh, templates that uh, if we if I go to this profile header, I can also see the Instagram profile uh, UI also, but I can't use it. Right. So let's create a new page. So let's call it sample page. Right. And let's click, click on this create new button. So I'm getting this complete empty screen. So first of all, my aim is to add the app bar. So let's add the app bar. So over here, I'm getting the app bar. Let's drag drop it. So over here, I can see that I'm getting a purple app bar because my primary color is purple, but I want it to be of black color. So just click this app bar over here. You can see uh, the primary color. Just click on it and you can uh, select your recent color or uh, any color you can select it from here. Just click on it and click on this use selected color and your app bar will be changed. Now I want to remove this uh, if you are not able to see. So my app bar color is changed. Now I can see that here uh, is an arrow key, arrow button, uh, which is for navigating back to the previous screen. So I want to remove this, right? So what I will do, you can see this default show default button. Just uh, uncheck it and that icon is gone. That button is gone. Right now I want to add a app bar title. So you can just click on this text, drag and drop it over here and your uh, text is there. Now let's uh, change the color of this text and let's uh, name this text as sample. So from here you can just uh, change the text of the app bar title. Right. So over here, let's change the font. I don't want to keep it Poppins. I want to keep it Roboto. You can use the Google fonts without any cost. You don't have to add any dependency in the pubspec.eml for using the Google fonts. Everything is done, right? So I want to change the text color. So from here, you can see text color is there. Let's click on it and let's choose the white color so that we will be able to see. Now let's increase the font size from 14 to 20. Let's enter it. Now I can see that I'm getting the title in the center. So just click on it. Uh, just click on the app bar and uncheck this center title. Now my title is perfectly aligned at the left side, right? Now I can see that my screen is still empty. There is nothing in it. So I have to add a container. So let's add a container. So I can not, I'm not able to see the container. So let's search from here container and a container is here. Let's put it over here. And I can see that container is very small. I want to, I want that this container should be having the height and width of this complete screen. Just click on this container. And from here, you have to just uh, click on this infinity sign, uh, right? Uh, we have lost the... So over here, width and height, you can, you can see this infinity sign. Just click on this infinity sign. And you can see that now my container is taking the height and width of the complete screen, right? Now let's change the color of this container. So you can just click on this fill color and select any color, click on it. And you can see that the color of the container is also changed. So like this, you can work on any UI. You can create any kind of UI by just dragging and dropping. There are so many available items. And if you and if you think that uh, a certain kind of element is not there, then you can also request it. Let's say I, I searched for sized box and I could not find it. So as you can see, sized box is not there. So what I will do, I will click on this request widget. I will write the name of that widget sized box and I will click on submit. So they may add that element in the next uh, update, right? So this is how you can just create any kind of UI. You, I added the container. You can add the list view. You can add the column, the row, any kind of UI you can build, right? So this was the introduction of this complete Flutter flow, the review. So if I give a final review to this Flutter flow, it's amazing. Even if you are using the free plan, it's totally worth it because you get the complete code of the user interface. You can use it in your application by just copy pasting. And if I talk about their future scope, it's totally amazing because it's also a very good tool for teaching someone a flutter, right? Because uh, if I go to directly coding part and I tell them this is a container, this is a size box, this is a padding, they won't understand. But if I click on this container, I start adding a padding. As you can see, there is a padding. I lock this because I want to add padding from all the sides. Same, I want to keep it equal. And I add 20 padding from all the sides and hit enter and you can see that padding is added.
amazing right so this is how this is why i i want to give five by five stars to this flutter flow and i hope they will be adding a lot of features to it and the next updates so so i will also be creating a uh, full tutorials uh, ui tutorials using this flutter flow and i will be copy pasting this ui code in my flutter application and we will be adding the backend there right so till the next content keep coding keep innovating and thanks a lot